travelers are returning frightening information to Voyager 1 for Earth. NASA's rocket with the longest journey is still traversing uncovered regions of the universe nearly 50 years after launch. Scientists are baffled by the shocking facts about this well-known spacecraft. It is returning to Earth because of what seems to be a breakdown. Join us as we talk about the odd information that Voyager has been exchanging back to Earth through the delicate space investigation venture. Researchers have been drawn to the study of the domain beyond the Big Bang, including what inspired the launch of Voyager 1. Among other space missions, Voyager 2 was actually the first shuttle to launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 2, 1977. On September 5th of that same year, Voyager 1 went live two weeks later. But how did they change places as twins? The two probes' combined weight is around 720 kilograms, about the equivalent of a small vehicle. Both were launched during a window of extraordinary outer planet alignments that resulted in a slingshot effect on the shuttle's launch from one planet to another, but they were required to move at various speeds and in various directions. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 successfully surpassed its identical twin. From that point on, it was our go-to resource for acquiring knowledge about various enigmas related to space realities. This was the first shuttle to do so when it began its Jovian imaging mission in 1978, nearly 265 million kilometers away from our planet, and sent a huge number of photos back to us. Voyager 1 completed an extraordinary sequence of 108 hours during January 1979 when it took 3,750 images of the rotation of Jupiter to produce a time-lapse video of 10 of the planet's turns. It had gone through the system of Jovian moons in February 1979 and, after a month, discovered the small rings surrounding Jupiter. Voyager also made a novel discovery when it found two new moons named Teba and Metis. The right steps were taken to guarantee that the spacecraft was prepared to fly by Saturn and to prevent a potential impact with Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Voyager 1 also discovered for other moons during its Saturnian orbit, including Tethys, Dione, Mimas, and Enceladus. The explorer's mission to a planet following the Saturn mission was completed, and both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 moved beyond our group of planets at a speed of 325 million kilometers each year. In January 1990, the new mission, previously known as the Explorer Interstellar Mission, began. Some of the most renowned photos in history, portraying the Sun and the majority of the planets, were taken by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990, when it was 6 billion kilometers from the Sun. They are frequently referred to as the Solar System Family Photo. Sixty people were in the system. The total number of Voyager 1 shots brought the total number of images taken to 670. However, Mercury and Mars couldn't be seen in the photographs due to multiple factors. The cameras on the space probe were turned off to conserve power and memory before its journey to interstellar space. Furthermore, aside from the interstellar probes, NASA also operates Pioneer 10, New Horizons, and Pioneer 11. Before Voyager 1 passed by, Pioneer 10, released on February 17, 1998, was the farthest spacecraft. Voyager 1 carried on for an additional 14 years before it finally arrived in the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. Without any other available space, NASA did not make its probe's achievement public until 2013. By November 2018, both spacecraft had officially left the nearby group of planets where Voyager to cross to the onset of the heliopause and enter the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 is thought to be 550 million km or 145 billion miles away from Earth. It continues to provide us with important data that no other space probes can hold. Missions of probes have made it possible since it entered the realm of the unseen beyond our planetary group. The spacecraft has used most of its journey through space for 45 years in good health. However, scientists have recently discovered some odd anomalies in its performance. 
Voyager 1 is sending confusing signals back to Earth, giving the impression that it is unsure of the coordinates of its location. There is, however, a startling twist to the problem that most researchers face. Voyager was pre-programmed to go into safe mode or sound an alarm if it gets derailed in space, but up until this point, it has not. Furthermore, its antenna, which relays information back to Earth, appears to be in great working order. However, the data it has recently been communicating is unclear. The Interstellar Pilgrim is working routinely, taking instructions from Earth and effectively carrying them out, collecting and disseminating scientific data. However, readouts from the control and explanation of the spacecraft system do not accurately represent what is occurring within, as stated by a NASA official declaration. Exactly what is happening on board each spacecraft heading toward interstellar space, including Voyagers 1 and 2, remains unclear. Each possesses an extraordinary gold-plated disc measuring 12 inches, piled high with video and audio messages as a backup in case an alien species finds the craft. It includes 35 Earth noises, 115 live photographs, 90 minutes of music from the West, and greetings from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim. These are just a few of the items on the Space DVD, in addition to being kept in 55 different languages. If external forces took control of the spacecraft, they would most likely be attempting to speculate based on the signals that the spaceship is currently under their control. This idea has been quickly dismissed by researchers. Voyager's ability to function is heavily dependent on the attitude and orientation control system. First and foremost, the system maintains its antenna focused on the planet so that scientists are able to precisely receive information, and it also controls how the spacecraft is positioned. Engineers monitoring the situation now feel that the system for controlling attitude is working as it should, which only adds to the puzzle we currently face. Additionally, none of the safety features designed to protect the rocket from danger have been activated. According to Voyager 1 project manager Susan Dodd, such a mystery is not all bad at this point during the exploration mission. Both spacecraft are approximately 45 years old, which is a lot older than the one that was envisioned in the mission plan. Dodd also acknowledges that the spacecraft's engineering team will face significant challenges in solving the issue. Due to the distance between us and Voyager 1 and the spacecraft, the challenges are immense, largely due to the rocket being around 14.5 billion miles away from Earth. This vast distance presents a number of difficulties that the team must navigate carefully. A rescue operation is nearly impossible given the current strategic and technological limitations. Voyager 1 is far beyond the range of any spacecraft or mission of repair that we could realistically send. The spacecraft's amazing journey has brought it into the most remote parts of our neighborhood planetary group and beyond, into the space between stars, where it continues to daily move further away from us. Messages from Earth, at the speed of light, take almost 21 hours to reach Voyager 1's current location. This means that any order or instruction sent by the engineering team takes a considerable amount of time to reach the spacecraft, causing this delay poses a significant challenge for ongoing troubleshooting and investigation. In addition, after Voyager 1 processes the order, any response or information it sends back to Earth will take an additional 21 hours to return. This suggests that two-way communication between the spacecraft and Earth takes this kind of delay. Results in, on average, it is particularly challenging to implement practical or iterative solutions. Troubleshooting processes, which are frequently necessary when dealing with complex technical issues, the engineering team needs to carefully plan and carry out each command, anticipating different scenarios and potential outcomes. Unlike missions closer to Earth, where specialists can quickly send and receive orders, the lengthy delay in communication requires a more strategic and patient approach. Every instruction must be carefully crafted to address the established issues without causing additional problems. 
because of how long it takes to confirm whether the order had the crucial effect that is desired. Communication delay also means that the engineering team has few chances to communicate with the spacecraft. Each command sent must be successful and precise, leaving little room for error. This requires extensive testing and ensuring that commands on Earth before they are sent to Voyager 1. In addition to these strategic difficulties, the spacecraft itself is over 40 years old, having been launched in 1977. The technology on board, though at the time cutting edge, is now considered outdated by modern standards. The engineering team must work with hardware and systems that were designed and constructed in the 1970s, adding another layer of complexity to the harsh problem-solving process. The environment of space has also caused significant wear and tear on the spacecraft systems. Voyager 1 has been exposed to cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroids for over a period of 45 years. These factors contribute to the wear and degradation of its components, making it even more difficult to repair and maintain. Despite these obstacles, the engineering team remains committed to resolving the ongoing issues. They are investigating various hypotheses regarding the potential causes of the anomalies and testing possible solutions on Earth through simulations. This meticulous planning approach is critical given the stakes involved. Any wrong command could potentially worsen the situation or lead to a loss of communication with the spacecraft. The team is also utilizing Voyager 1's redundant systems. Like many other space missions, the design of Voyager 1 included backup systems to make it more resilient to errors that the engineering team might make, enabling them to use these backup systems and restore normal operations if they verify that a particular component is failing. In summary, while the challenges of figuring out and fixing the problems with Voyager 1's engineering are immense, the team is utilizing their knowledge and experience and the innate resilience of the spacecraft to address the problems. Their careful and patient approach is essential in taking care of the important communication work-related complications and delay with a spacecraft that is both extremely distant and extremely old. Despite the odds, their goal is to continue. Voyager 1's legacy of exploration and discoveries in science that go far beyond the original mission boundaries. The breakdowns may be the result of cosmic rays altering some of the spacecraft's high-risk electrical systems. These energetic particles that come from distant supernovae or cosmic events travel through space at nearly the speed of light. When they collide with Voyager 1, particles can penetrate its exterior and affect electronic components within the body. The longer the spacecraft remains in space, the more likely it is that its systems will be affected by cosmic rays over time. This phenomenon can lead to irregular anomalies like the ones currently seen in Voyager 1's telemetry data. Engineers have long been aware of the potential risks of cosmic rays to items used in spacecraft and even human explorers, but the scope of their impact can be difficult to predict or mitigate. Despite these challenges, engineers have used a variety of measures to shield spacecraft from cosmic rays, including protecting sensitive devices, designing redundant systems, and employing error correction algorithms in data transmission. Even with these safeguards, cosmic rays can still pose a danger, particularly to spacecraft operating in deep space for extended periods, just like Voyager 1. Although the current abnormalities in the data from Voyager 1 are baffling, they are not at all surprising given the spacecraft's age and its prolonged exposure to cosmic rays. Engineers and scientists continue to monitor the situation and analyze the data received from Voyager 1 to determine the exact cause of the anomalies and devise methods to reduce their impact on the spacecraft's operations. Despite these challenges, Voyager 1 has far exceeded its initial goals for the mission and continues to offer useful insights into the outer regions of our planetary system and beyond. Its achievements are a testament to the ingenuity of its creators and the team's steadfastness that has supported it for over 40 years. Voyager 1's journey is a symbol of humanity's enduring curiosity and determination to explore the unexplored reaches of space. 
As we look to the future, Voyager 1 and missions like it will continue to inspire and expand our knowledge of the universe.